Guys, this is it. Past these black curtains, we're gonna be into this crazy experience, this 3D immersion borderless thing. But this is what it says, and this is how I knew this was supposed to be for me. <laughs> Wander, explore, discover. This is it. What is up, Explorers? Now, it's been over four months since I started vlogging, and this is my first vlog, and I'm back. And it feels so good to be back. Guys, you have to watch my Exposed to the Truth of Exploring with Josh video to get this video and to know what happened before this video. First off, I'm in Japan. Now, I haven't vlogged in a long time. I haven't even been in Japan in two years. Every time we do Japan vlogs, we always take over. And I was like, I'm gonna come back to Japan, and we're gonna start vlogging again here in Japan. Now, it is August, so it's super hot. This is my first time being in Japan in August, but there's so much to cover. Guys, we've done over two series here in Japan, over 60 days worth of videos, and I'm finally back for a third time in Japan where we're gonna explore more abandoned, but we're also gonna take a twist to it. We're gonna be doing everything, not just abandoned, but the wackiest foods, the wackiest museums, the hotels, this and that. As much as the most interesting stuff we can find, we're doing it. And I have a bit of a team with me. For the next five days, I'll be with Cody, my friend Mike Corey, and Lexi Limitless. Then I'm gonna switch over to being with Exploring With Fighters. You guys know him. And that's for the rest of the whole remaining trip. Now first off, let's just get on with the day. Seriously though, if you have not seen my last two Japan series, I highly suggest to watch those before watching this one because everything kind of ties together. Yo, that's exactly what we're doing. Now, it better look like the photos. It better look like this. I don't wanna go to McDonald's and pick the photo and get like an ugly hamburger, but that's what I get. Okay guys, perfect example of where you can use your uh, Suica card. Okay, you press this, and you do this, here. It should work when you do it. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, yeah, was so easy. Yeah. Later on, we're gonna do a vending machine review video on all these different drinks, because there's so many. And every time you go to like different towns and different cities, they always have like exclusive drinks in these vending machines. Guys, this is it. Past these black curtains, we're gonna be into this crazy experience, this 3D immersion, borderless thing. But this is what it says, and this is how I knew this was supposed to be for me. <laughs> Wander, explore, discover. This is it. This is cool. So on camera, it looks really crazy, but it's still crazy in person. But like you're really so immersed into this like fantasy world that they created, whether it's on the floor, on the walls, and they're using mirrors to replicate like the edges and sides. It's actually really interesting, guys. I 100% recommend coming here. For me, this is completely new. I never seen anything like this. So I was like, I have to come here. Well, what the heck's in here? on that seriously It's so sharp, it's insane. Not even my camera can pick this up. I'm trying to get in as close as I can, but it's just so sharp. <laughs> Yo, this is insane now. Th this gets actually better. Oh, snap, dude. Yo, this is crazy. Yo guys, on some real stuff, I've never seen anything like this. 
It's so trippy, so unique, but yet peaceful at the same time. This area is called the Forest of Resonating, and I can stay here all day. So they do a really good job at like these sound effects. It really makes it so immersive. I love this so much, man. I love video games and everything, man. Japanese is so dope. We just ordered some of the fanciest green tea on earth right now. Everything is so pure here and we're relaxing. Uh, uh cold brew, user. <laughs> Explorers, so we did leave the Borderless Art Museum and it was so sick. And we're on our way to Coco Curry when we got attacked by this guy. Oh my god. It's, I think that's Unicorn from Gundam. I think it's Unicorn from Gundam, but it's just so cool. Now, if you guys want to see the life-size Gundam, you got to come to Diver City in Tokyo. Mm, back a little bit. Show with me. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Explorers, four hours has now passed. Um, I ended up getting back home, taking a shower, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the robot show. The robot restaurant, it's in Shinjuku. Everyone tries it who comes to Tokyo, Japan, and I was last to do this. Like, now. I came like two other times to Japan, I never once done this robot show. I'm doing it. Took a shower, I feel great. The night is young! Actually, look at our view, it's actually really cool. Fun fact, this is the first time in eight months I shared a hotel room. Guys, we used to share hotel rooms all the time, and this is how it is. But, during the TV show, for the eight months, I've been always getting hotel room after hotel room after hotel room, and I've just been chilling it in, like, luxury. So I'm back in hotel rooms, I'm chilling with Cody, and it's so different. I never shared a hotel room so long, but back, it's good to be back to the good old days. Explorers, before we head into Shinjuku and go to the robot show, I got some spicy ramen. I mean, the broth is red, guys. But I want to show you guys how to order ramen. You go to any ramen place, you have to go here to this vending machine and pick out the ramen, and then you get this ticket, and then you get the ticket to these guys. So there's no menu, you can't just order ramen. You have to actually get a ticket, pick it, and give it to them. Gotta use Google Translate for it, guys. There it is, Explorers. You can't miss it. And if you miss that sign, you can't miss this one. <laughs> Up, guys, you can't miss it. Dude, that is crazy. I'm Team Blue. Oh, I'm a Team Blue, okay? Team Blue! And you're right. the pink. Alright, well, watch this. I'm taking over Team Red then. No one wants to sit on Team Red, I'm gonna sit on Team Red. Ah! That could have been a thumbnail right there. Yo, you ready? I don't know what we're doing, but let's fight. Fight! Got the tickets. Let's go. All day has been full of flashy lights. It's just a coincidence. Or is it just Japan? This elevator is gonna take us into the show. It's full of lights as well and shiny things. It's blinged out. Look at this. Real diamonds. What the heck is this? This is our waiting area. There's a robot band down there. Oh my god. Decided 100% I'm gonna get with a robot tonight.
Explorers, what the heck was that, right? I think it was a mix between dragons, Star Wars, robots, guns, z uh, maybe zombies, fantasy, Final Fantasy characters, all mixed into one show. And it was totally worth the $80, 100%. Like, I seriously really enjoyed it. Like, you have to like and appreciate, I think, Tokyo's culture, or maybe Japan's culture, because if you do, then you'll really like that show. If you like robots or anything that's like kind of like a Final Fantasy or video game vibe, then you're going to like that no matter what. But you just, even if you don't, but you're really open-minded, then you're going to like it. $80 is a lot of money, and it is sort of like a Disney ticket, but so worth it. It's a 90-minute show, and it's something you're only going to see there. And, guys, I didn't get paid for this. I don't think they even need paid promotion. I'm just saying it was just totally worth the money. It's just so unique. $8 for, for a, a show in Shinjuku is a lot of money. But, anyways, guys, we had a long day today. This is my first day back vlogging in Japan or just vlogging in general in the last eight months. So, I'm a little rusty, but I'm coming back. I, I it's, it's funny because I actually was about to take off my shirt, lay down and go to sleep. And I was like, I got to end my video because it's, it's, it's been that long. But I'm back, so... Day one in Japan has been super fun. Let's see what day two brings. I'm here till August 25th. Uh, what is that, like 28 days? So yeah, rise above. Just got out to explore. Peace and thanks for watching.